let's continue with our series on SQL and today we want to produce our lists but sorted in other words arranged from highest to lowest or the other way around so this is the structure of a sorted query select the fields you want from the table you want and order by that's the command that sorts our query or our result by one field or two fields or any number of fields and you have the option of deciding whether these fields must be sorted or ordered ascending or descending by putting this AC after the field name so here's a first example select these two fields replacement value and artist from CD table and order by replacement value ascending but artist descending let's view this query and see what happens so we've got replacement values increasing in value in other words ascending but artists within that category in descending sequence so if we look at this example display replacement value and artists of all CDs sorted from highest to lowest replacement value then we've done that here already but we've done something else as well we've also ordered it by artist in descending sequence for you to do the books queries you have to create the books database from the spreadsheet that's been provided and it is on the website so import that spreadsheet create the database and then you can do these book queries and now we get to the where condition notice that the rest of the structure is the same select those fields from a specific table and we have a where condition and this is a very powerful condition because it will limit the results of a query according to a condition so let's start with the easiest one the equal operator so we are going to say select some fields from the table where one of the fields equals something else so let's look at our CD table by the way you see that these two the table and the query are at the moment one underneath each other if you go to switch windows here then you can tile them horizontally or you can tile them vertically and have them whichever way you want but you must be able to get back to them so let's start with CD table and our query is over there our CD table has artist name CD name and let's open that one up a bit and genre so let's make genre equal to jazz for example so select artist and CD underscore name from CD table and we forget about order now for the moment we say where that's the clause we want to use now where genre equals jazz run this query and see what it looks like and there we have artist and CD name we didn't ask to display the genre column so let's change that so that we can see whether these are the jazz CDs and genre artist CD name and genre run the query again and now we can see that the ones that have been extracted are now limited to only the ones where genre equals jazz if we change jazz to pop for example then we'll get a different set of values lots more in this case okay so that was the first operator using the equal sign just to go to it again so our where clause says where genre equals pop the other operators that are available are these so typically not equal to greater than less than etc these will be good for numeric values so let's go and use some of them to extract from the CD table those with a replacement value of let's say more than 180 Rand so select artist and CD name and genre and replacement value from table CD where the replacement value is larger than 180 and let's look at what the query does so now I have all those fields but you can see that the replacement value there isn't one that's smaller than 180 or even equal to 180 at the moment if we view again we can make it greater than or equal to 180 run our query and now suddenly some 180s appear so you should now go and play around with these operators let's look at the between operator for a moment we use this when we have a value that must be inclusive in range between 10 and 20 so here's a query where I'm selecting those four fields artist CD name genre and replacement value from the same table where that's the where clause and this is my condition 
and I'm using between between 180 and 190 and it'll include 180 and 190 let's view the result set of this query and there we can see only those CDs are displayed of which the between condition is now true notice that we have 31 of them let's look at the in condition the in condition refers to whether my result set is within a set so here's an example select artist CD name replacement value and genre from the table where replacement value is in the set that contains these two so I only want replacement values of 130 and 190 let's run this query and see so here are my CDs and you can see that the replacement value is either 130 or 190 so it's in the set of 130 or 190 so the last two not null or is null we will use when we have a field that doesn't have a value in it so we could for instance say and in our table example that I'm busy with there are no such fields they all have values but we could say select genre from CD table where replacement value is null in other words there isn't a value nothing's been entered it's not zero is null means nothing has been entered into that field so is null or is not null refers to whether the field is empty or not and like we will do a little bit later the next one I want us to look at is where we want the user to input some values so the example they have here is select all the fields from table books where author equals input so we are not working with table books we're working with the CD table so let's write a query where we ask the user to input a genre so the query says select the fields I want and it's important to use genre if that's one of the fields I want to display so select artist CD name and genre from the table where genre equals input so that will ask the user to input a genre let's run this query it asks the user to do some input and I'm going to put in pop click on OK and you can see that only the pop CDs are displayed if we run this again and we put in rock of course we will get only the rock CDs now we want to work with date and time and we use the hash in order to delimit the time so here's an example select star from table movie where running time is greater than two hours so this two refers to the hours and those digits to the minutes I had to change to a different uh, database and table the movie one this is also the one that you created from the spreadsheet we did it earlier in the course uh, otherwise you can go and do it now it is available so under table movie if I look at that we can see that I have a movie ID title genre director and running time so the running time is one hours and 29 minutes and no seconds at this stage so let's look at the query I want to for instance extract from this only those movies who have a running time of more than one hour and 40 minutes so select all of the fields from table movie where running time is greater than or equal to 140 with the two hashes either side if I view this you can see that 140 is included if I change my SQL statement to just greater than then of course the 140 will not be included anymore sometimes we need a complex condition so we're still with the where condition but now we want to add another condition as well so we use either and or or so if and is being used then both of these conditions must be true and if or is being used then either of the two conditions must be true let's go back to our database and I've moved back to my CD table beta database and let's look at the data that's here so if we want to extract let's say all the pop CDs that have a replacement value of 120 Rand okay so let's go and do that my generic query uh, let's look at pop in any case first then we can see that all the pop CDs there are 50 of them let's go to its SQL view and we select select artists seed name genre and we want replacement value from CD table where and now we want our genre to equal uh, let's make it pop and we want our replacement value to be equal to I think I said 120 and let's run this now we can see that 
only those CDs from the genre pop as well as the replacement value of 120 are displayed. Now let's go and look at what the OR condition does. If we change this AND to an OR, then it will bring up all CDs that are either uh, in the pop genre or they have a replacement value of 120. Let's run this and you can see that we have much more at the moment. Okay, a hundred of them and it's either 120 and if it's not 120 it's pop. Okay, finally I want to talk about the like condition. When I showed you this screen you had all the operators on the left hand side and you notice that I skipped the like condition because we would, were going to do this later and now's the time. So it's an operator for a WHERE clause. Now let's look at this. If I want genre and I want all the CDs in the genre where the genre starts with the letter R then I can say where genre like inverted comma the letter R star for anything afterwards and close the inverted comma. Let's go and do that. So I have select those fields from the table where genre like or you can write it in capitals if you like and I want it to start with an R and then have anything afterwards. Let's run this query and see what happens. So it brings up rock and R&B and that's about it.